Today we're doing a little monthly reset and I'm taking you along with me. This is going to be a little reset and reflect vlog. If you want to see more of this, please do consider joining this lovely little community. We're about to hit, or maybe we just hit, by the time this goes live, 1500 subscribers, which I'm so happy about. But do like the video because that helps me so much. And then we can all be a lovely little happy family in the comments. I've been trying to get ready in the morning because I work from home, so I don't really need to get ready until like I have plans of some sort. But let's change that habit slowly together. And then we'll get into all of the fun reflections from last month and planning for this month. Also, it's a dog borrowing day. I pet sit this dog for over a year now. And he's just a little baby, and he loves me. Right, Ducky? This is like day four hair. So I think we're just going to do a slick back bun and wash it tonight or tomorrow. That was a battle, but I think we won. It wouldn't be a monthly reset if we didn't make a nice cup of coffee, so let's do that. Actually, I think we'll do an ice matcha because I'm gonna meet a friend for coffee later. I changed my mind, I actually want a hot latte. We'll have an ice latte later, and there's gonna be many more ice lattes to come because it's finally getting warm here in London. So we're gonna start planning for the month of May, but first I have my morning meeting. Why are you doing that? Hi. So this is how I set myself up for success and reflect on my goals as someone who is like obsessed with planning. I do this whole process once a month and it's already a few days into May, so let's plan for May together and reflect on April. I'm the type of person, and I think you probably are as well, who always has tons of different ideas and like goals in mind. And something I've always struggled with in the past is how to just like organize everything. You know, I have a handful of journals slash notebooks, and I have tons of notes in my phone, notes in my computer, and even notes like in my iMessage conversation with myself. <laughs> And they all serve a different purpose, but I wanted a way to stay way more organized. And my boyfriend got me this journal from Papier. It's customized for Christmas, so perfectly in time for starting 2024. And I've been using it since, and now I have a really good system, in my opinion, for staying organized and reflecting on what I've done so far. And it's genuinely helped me a lot. And it also doesn't hurt that it's just really pretty, in my opinion. <laughs> So let's get started. So the journal is structured into months and weeks. And you also have this view of like a full on calendar, which I don't tend to use. This is the month of May and we have all of this to go through, which I'll tell you about. And the notes section, which is where I tend to write my reflections at the end of the month. And then we also have just a weekly planner, which I do use a lot as well. So we're going to go through all of that and I'm so excited to get ready for May. Getting ready for May. So I've talked a lot about this journal already, but let's get into the details of how it's structured, which even if you don't have this journal, I think it's a good way to structure your monthly goals and reflections for yourself. So for each month, you have these two pages, and on one side, you have your monthly goals, a to-do list, your priorities, and new habits that you want to form. And then on the other page, you have an empty notes section, which is where I like to write my reflections at the end of the month. I had a bit of trouble in the beginning trying to differentiate between some of these different sections, but the way I see it, monthly goals are tangible things that you want to achieve, whereas your priorities are things that you know you want to prioritize maybe in your daily life that might lead you to those goals. And I see these as more like general, 
fluid priorities. So maybe I'm prioritizing rest or I'm prioritizing my friendships, things like that. And new habits is different to both of them, even though it kind of feels like they mend together a bit. New habits, I guess, are actual actions that you're going to start taking every day or try to implement into your life every day. And ideally, they are habits that will contribute to your goals and that align with your priorities. So it definitely does get a little bit confusing and trying to think like, okay, is this a goal? Is it a priority? Is it a habit? But it is really useful to have them in separate categories and the priorities especially help to keep me grounded throughout the month. So let's talk a little bit about April. Also, if you've gotten this far into the video, comment your favorite journaling emoji so I know who's been here, you know? And now of course it's time to properly reflect on the month of April. So I'm going to spend some time filling out this section and then we'll chat a little bit about it. So in each month you have the space to write down three monthly goals, but I only wrote down two for April. It was definitely a very busy month but this is what I had down. One was to get to 800 on TikTok, and two was to finalize some career professional discussions that I was having. And out of those two, I only achieved one of them. I wrote down this goal for TikTok because I love YouTube. It's definitely my favorite platform, and I feel like we're growing on here. It's been so lovely so far. And TikTok, I don't like mesh with as well, but I have been getting into making more like produced creative content on there, which has definitely reinvigorated like my passion for the platform, even though I don't necessarily feel super, super passionate about it, but I'm still struggling to like build a community on there. So no, I did not reach this goal. I probably got like 20 new followers on TikTok. I just post kind of cute day in my life content as well as some of my crochet like crafting stuff. So I expect slow growth on there and it's not necessarily my main priority. YouTube is my is my baby. But yeah, we didn't reach that goal, but we definitely worked towards it. So that's something we could be proud of. And for two finalizing career discussions. Yes, I did do that. But March was definitely a period of uncertainty in my professional life and I feel like I finally just finalized everything in April, so I'm very happy about that. That means a lot less like anxiety and confusion for me and allows me to focus on my other things like my content that I always want more time to focus on anyways. My top priorities for the month were to prioritize movement and to prioritize sleep, and I definitely think I did both of those things. I'm not in an amazing routine yet for movement, but I definitely prioritized it. So things have been really busy. I've had lots of social plans, which is so nice. I've had lots of professional discussions, interviews, etc. So I haven't been prioritizing those things, but in April I made a conscious effort to say like, okay, today I'm going to do a quick strength training workout. I'm going to try and sleep earlier. I'm going to try and wake up at a consistent time. And I think I've definitely achieved those things. And in terms of new habits, so this is a short example, but one, I want to film lots because I love making video essays, but I also want to be able to make more videos like this. However, I'm not necessarily in the habit of filming myself just throughout my day and sharing my life with people on YouTube. I do that more on TikTok. So I want to get in the habit of being like, okay, something's happening, let me whip out the camera or just like chatting to the camera, let me do that as opposed to needing a structured plan like I do for my video essays. So that is definitely a habit I've gotten into and I'm really, really happy about that because it's actually been so much fun to document my life and not feel pressured. Like getting in the habit of doing something spontaneously sounds really strange and counterintuitive, but it's helped me a lot so far. My other two habits were to use my walking pad every day and to start my like workout weightlifting split again. I say weightlifting, it's literally like using my dumbbell set at home <laughs> consistently for like 15 minutes a day. And I got more into this towards the end of April. I definitely didn't form this habit in April overall, but we have, we have worked towards it. And it's really nice because I love walking. I used to run a lot, but now I don't run as much anymore. And I've always loved strength training and just felt like I had to do it in a gym. But 
I can do it at home. This upper, like upper body, lower body split was really simple for me. I can just like do it on my own. I don't need a video. For me, when I make movement and exercise super complicated with this like whole plan and stuff, it gets too overwhelming and almost toxic. So just saying like, I'm doing upper body, I'm doing lower body. If I want to be more like stringent with which muscle groups and whatever in the future, I can do that. But doing something is better than nothing. So that's where I'm at for April. And we're feeling good about it. And overall, I just wrote that like, I'm really, really excited for summer, especially right now. Like it's just so beautiful outside. Yesterday was gorgeous and it kind of seems like it's just going to be this way for a while, I hope. I know it will, of course, continue to rain here and there like we do live in England, babes, but really good vibes outside. So I'm just excited for what's to come in the next few months. I think May is going to fly by, like it's already started, we're already a week in. Now that we've reflected on April, let's get into planning for May. Living in the moment, how to keep my focus with you in your hands. You wanna come plan May with us? So for May, just like April, we have the goals, the to-do list, top priorities, and new habits that I want to form. So let's quickly go through each of them. This month is a bit busy because I'm going to the US for a little bit. So that kind of means that in terms of making content, I don't really want to set like numeric goals because one I have my content planned for the month already, so I don't necessarily feel like, oh, depending on week two's video, then I can adjust my plan for week three and week four. It's kind of all already planned. And also right now what's connecting with me in my heart in terms of content is having a goal that's just about, you know, feeling closer to my community on here. People's comments are always so, so, so lovely. And I want to just like cultivate more of that, get to know more people and just have fun with YouTube. And by making videos like these that are more like showing my life and whatnot, that helps me to feel closer because, you know, I get a few comments here and there that are like, oh, I relate to this or I did this today and that reminded me of what you did and things like that. So that's what my goal is for YouTube this month. Also because I'm on holiday this month and have like more professional and personal content things planned, I want to set one creative goal, which is to finish a crochet project. I'm hoping very soon that I will finish the cover I'm making for my laptop. I already finished the one for my Kindle. And I also started a little filet crochet project. I don't know if that's how you say it. Is it filet? Filet? Fillet? <laughs> filet crochet project. And I, I think I can finish that this month if I take it with me on the plane to the US and work on it on the way there and on the way back and maybe like in some of my downtime if I have any at all while I'm there um but we'll see about that I'm not too sure but either way I want to finish a project this month which I'm like 99% sure I can do because the granny square laptop cover shouldn't take long and then I want to make one to two proper TikToks this month I have tons of content but I like to do these more creative edits and I just haven't really made the time to do that, so not really sure when, but maybe in the last week of May, I'll have more time to do that because I am going on holiday soon. In terms of my to-do, I'm not gonna go through all of it, but things like sorting out content, sorting passes for a tour I want to do while I'm in Chicago, seeing three of my friends in Chicago, and then the one part that I think is really fun is priorities. So this month, I had a bit of difficulty because again, I'm not focusing too much on numbers this month. I just want to you know, live my life and enjoy it, but I want to make sure I'm prioritizing enjoyment. So that's my first priority, is literally enjoyment. My second priority is fresh air. And my third priority, I just put as me. I've noticed lately that I feel like my full self in the summer. I don't know what it is. I don't know if this has been a new thing since I moved abroad. But I, I don't know why I feel more like lively. I feel more excited to do things with friends. I mean, I do know why it's because the weather is so much nicer and the vibes are good. But I just love like the smell of the trees and the grass and the dirt. I mean, I live in a city, so the little amounts of that that I do smell like it just makes me so, so, so happy. So I put me because I feel like I want to make sure that I'm doing the things that make me me, which is like creating content 
crocheting, sewing, hanging out with friends, spending time outside, not necessarily doing outdoorsy things, but like going for a drink or a coffee or a picnic, things like that. I just want to like feel like myself and yeah. And I think fresh air and literally prioritizing enjoyment are ways to prioritize myself. So maybe they're not necessarily productive priorities this month, but they're like lifestyle priorities, which is just as, if not more, important. And finally, in terms of new habits I want to form this month, they're just simple things like drinking more water, going outside every day, and then the two new habits I'm the most excited about are making sure that my breaks from like work or video editing aren't just scrolling on social media, but instead like taking a break to crochet or taking a break to read, and I haven't done any reading in April, I don't think. So I'm really excited about those because I tend to like you know, I'll get obsessed with crochet and then crochet for like hours on end, but then it's not sustainable and then my hand hurts and I have to take a break from crocheting. So I want to like do these things that make me happy in small bursts, which I don't know, I don't want to make it so structured, but like I said, I always find it difficult because I do love crocheting, for example, so I will get sucked into it, but then it doesn't help me in the long run. So I don't know, those are just my ideas for my new habits. And I filled out that section completely, which I don't normally do. And I feel like that's a sign of the fact that I don't have as many like professional goals this month. So therefore I'm able to focus on like lifestyle habits and I have a lot of ideas, so yeah. So if you couldn't tell, I love planning and I am so excited for May for good weather good vibes, and lots of like exciting plans. If you want to see another one of these monthly reset videos, let me know in the comments and let me know also what you're excited for this month because I just have a good feeling about the month for all of us, you know? And I want to send that energy out into the world. But yeah, thank you so much for planning the month with me and I hope to see you next time. If you like this video, check out one of my others. Maybe subscribe if you want to and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!